Now, if the past year and a half plus has taught us anything, it's that we can all be separate but together. And if you can't physically be at an event, there are ways to make you feel like you're there in person. So for my fellow football and weather lovers, there's a tool designed just for you. Touchdown! Music to any Jags fans' ears. Jamal Agnew! But for weather enthusiasts... That's what I'm talking about. It's time to take your football watching skills to the professional level. We actually have a college football and an NFL weather tool. Edmund Sori and his team at WeatherStem designed a tool for the sports and weather loving folk out there just like himself. And TIA Bankfield is just one of many sporting venues with this system with weather stations all around the stadium to give you the full 3D look at conditions affecting the game. It's the year 2021. There's so many different ways that you can really be enveloped in what's going on without actually being at the site. WeatherStem takes all of the football schedules from the college and pro teams and overlays it with their weather data. Now, since that data is being streamed to the internet in less than a second intervals, you can watch that alongside a live game. He got it! He got it! The Swamp has a WeatherStem network as well, and I was out there when Mansouri's team visited Gainesville to upgrade the system, making sure it stays in tip-top shape for its followers. Every time we set up one of these systems, it automatically gets its own Facebook page and its own Twitter page. If the Gators score a touchdown, it'll post it to that social media feed and show us what the weather camera looked like, what the weather conditions were, and tell us what the score is and how much time is remaining in the game or the quarter. But even if your team wins or loses, can't give up on them, can't give up on them. There's one thing to keep in mind. The weather can be right no matter what. I mean, you, you cannot argue with the weather it, and it will whoop you. <laughs> so the, uh, it, it's the winner every time. Now Friday on Good Morning Jacksonville, we're continuing with STEM week and we're getting back to weather STEM's roots, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. How Ed Mansouri and his team are making weather and meteorology more fun and interactive for Florida students. Meteorologist Lauren Routenkranz, First Coast News on your side.